I'm Alex Smith, I'm Senior Analyst for East and Southeast Asia here at Intelligence Fusion. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that the military junta in Myanmar won't survive the year. I think it's possible because after a year or so of seeming stalemate in the fighting between various resistance groups and the military, they've started to suffer quite a number of setbacks. There's been a major offensive that started on uh, the 27th of October by some, some major armed ethnic groups in Northern Shan State that's taken over like 150 or more military outposts. Uh, and the regime starts to look very weak. They don't seem to have much capability so far to relaunch any offensive to retake this territory. Um, some of the areas they've lost, some of the towns of quite in strategically important sort of border um, border towns where there's a lot of commerce through to China, a lot of trade. They've lost control of that. That's going to further hurt their economy, uh, which is already seeing like massive inflation um, over the last year. Um, the 1027, pro the Operation 1027, as it's called, offensive, has spawned um, a number of, of supporting campaigns by other ethnic armed groups um, like Kachin State and, and Kaya State, that sort of place. The tenuous ceasefire that the hunter had with the Arakan Army in Rakhine State also came to an end this month in, no in November. Um, so really the, the hunter is kind of besieged on all sides. They're fighting in Rakhine State, up north um, in Kachin State, Shan State and also down along the Thai border. So there's a few different scenarios that could, could happen. First off, the ethnic armed groups and the, the People's Defence Forces, the PDFs that are aligned with the, the uh, National Unity Government, um, continue to gain ground. There's more and more defeats for the, for the military. We see more troops deserting, uh, more outposts falling, and eventually we see the resistance forces march into Napidor and uh, and get rid of the hunter that way. I don't think that's particularly likely. Um, I think more likely than that would be that as the hunter's position becomes more and more untenable, senior figures will maybe seek some sort of negotiated peace that would allow them to exit the country with a big load of expropriated wealth to China, maybe India, maybe even Russia. Um, Probably more likely than even that would be the end of the hunter by one of the two means that I've that I've mentioned, and then the ethnic armed groups, national unity government, remnants of political parties, all all the different actors in in Myanmar who have different ethnic, territorial, commercial, criminal um, interests, they then start to squabble, leading to renewed fighting uh, between a number of different armed groups. If people want to learn more about future threat projections, they can sign up for our free panel discussion with leading industry experts, coming in early 2024.